Thank you so much for watching this online video tutorial. Like, comment, and share, as well as subscribe to our channel at Good Better Best Online Videos for more video content. Okay, nice. As mentioned, we are doing resistance uh, today, which is obviously part of energy and change. Now, resistance, as well as resistors, which is the actual uh, noun or uh, what the actual object is called, resistor. Um, we are going to have a look, of course, at the uses of resistors, as well as the factors that affect um, resistance in an electric circuit. Okay, and uh, a couple of those do include the following: um, thickness. Okay, how uh, big or small, how wide, how how long, um, how thick a resistor is. Of course, um, the type of material used okay um, the as I mentioned the length of course and also the temperature okay all these are factors that do affect the resistance in a circuit we're going to look at obviously how that um, how that happens okay and then we'll take a look at a list and series of uh, questions Right, that follow. So that's the plan for this presentation first. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this bad boy over here. Okay, the uses of resistors. Okay, so first of all, let's take down what a resistor is. Okay, the most uh, easy way to explain it is it's a basic component of electric circuits. Okay, now electric circuits, I will give a bit of a spoiler alert here quickly. Um, electric circuits, they do uh, increase in difficulty as we go, obviously, along the journey from here all the way through to grade 12. Um, but uh, for me, electric circuits only really became fun in grade 12 because uh, in grade 12, everything in the subject that I'd learned from all the way from junior school, natural science, grade eight and nine natural science all the way through to matric all made sense in my last year of school and ended up getting a very good mark for physical science so don't worry if it doesn't make sense now if you do it all the way up to matric it may just okay now it's a basic component of electric circuits okay now what does it describe okay electrical resistance describes how an electrical conductor okay which I'm going to shorten to elect conductor okay now what will be an example of electrical conductor well of course uh, copper wire okay which is often used in electric circuits okay so like wire all right tries to stop the flow of current okay now flowing of current which we have touched on already is the flow of electrons okay which is basically charge which is measured in coulombs okay so in other words they don't want the electricity to flow through the circuit very easily okay hence the name resistance okay to put up a slight bit of a fight okay now to overcome the opposition that is obviously put in place by a resistor in the circuit um, a voltage all right which is a voltage which is known as energy must be dropped all right using the conductor wire okay one thing we must understand is that all conductor wire or conducting wire okay have the same resistance okay in order to overcome the opposition a voltage or energy has to be used across the wire or dropped across the wire okay one thing we must also bear in mind okay is that when trying to overcome electrical re, uh, resistance all right if the electrical energy lost is turned into heat okay when that happens 
okay? It provides us with a useful transfer of energy, okay? So some of that energy or voltage is now lost to heat. It's a transfer of energy that does take place, which is heat energy. Heat is still energy. So let's take household items such as stove, toaster, and a fan heater. Okay, those are all, um, they all try to explain what we've just um, um, touched on right now. Is that in order to overcome electrical resistance, that, that electrical energy, which is voltage that is lost, is turned into heat. So that happens obviously with a stove, okay? Um, obviously a stove plate warms up, and we have now heat energy that we can use for cooking, boiling, etc. Same thing with a toaster, which is basically like cooked bread. And a fan heater, okay? A fan heater, um, these, I'm sure lots of households have them by now because of the cold winter that we have in, in the Cape and in South Africa at the moment. Well, I only speak for the Cape at the moment. So all of those explain how that the electrical energy lost because of the electrical resistance that is putting up so much of a fight is lost into or turned or converted into heat energy. Okay. Um, another thing we can also take into um, considerations maybe um, LED lights as well or lights. Okay, some filament uh, light bulbs also get very warm if you touch them. I have a lamp as well, um, a bedside lamp or study lamp rather that you see most of the lads who or students have on their desk, uh, but I keep it on the bed next to me. Um, and every time I touch it, it's very warm. Not warm that I can't stand the heat, but it's some heat energy that is being given off there from um and which must have a very tough resistor inside the lamp otherwise probably the bulb will explode now because of the vacuum that's in a light bulb the electrical energy lost is instead turned into light okay so this just explaining um what happens in an actual light bulb i think it's the light bulb with the filament or light bulbs in general that uh, there's a little vacuum there okay now that vacuum allows the electrical energy instead to be turned into too much heat all right to be turned rather into light energy now light is not just light okay we just call it light but it's actually fully called light energy okay and um, in modern life electrical resistance plays a huge or large role huge role in our lives we've mentioned only but stove we've mentioned toaster we've mentioned fan heater but there's so much so much uh, so much more sorry okay and we're going to learn about that in the follow-on unit after this okay the follow-on unit after this i'll also give you another spoiler alert um is series and parallel circuits okay which uh, do have resistors obviously in them Okay, learn about the two different types of resistors there, or not uh, two different types of circuits rather, and how resistors are used. Okay, but we'll get to that in the next unit. Okay, so uh, something just to introduce quickly, a resistor is a conducting material selected to control the current entering a device, as in a light dimmer or radio volume control. So resistor is also used to provide useful energy transfer and to set voltages within an electric current, okay? Another thing about a resistor is that they may be fixed. In other words, they might stay in one position, all right? Or variable, it means they could be in different positions or switch positions throughout the device. Okay, an example of a variable resistor, okay, is a rheostat. Okay, a rheostat, which is, um, which I'm not going to basically assume that I know the, the correct uh, um, industries that it's used for. I'm going, to, I'm going to double check, okay, but a rheostat is a very simple variable resistor. Without further ado, let's just go find out what it means. The rheostat, um, 
formal definition for it didn't want to explain it according to my own words it's an electrical instrument used to control a current by varying the resistance in other words changing it up now an example of a rheostat or variable resistor would be a light dimmer switch okay and that uses a variable resistor okay of course i explained uh, light dimmer you're able to alter how much current actually flows okay so dimming the lights less current being allowed to flow and obviously when there is um when you turn the dimmers off in other words the lights are at their normal brightness without any dimming then of course they uh, shine at their brightest then that's basically can be described as maximum current being allowed to flow okay um some some houses of course we know have dimmer switches um what's the name kayla says she has those um for the overhead lights of course for a lamp it's obviously different a lamp light of course you don't get dimmers for those okay and uh, we all understand how those um uh, dimmers uh, works or, or light dimmers work okay um however the opposite uh is a fixed resistor okay uh which we'll obviously have a look at um, in just a moment Let's talk about a fixed resistor, which is its opposite. Okay, we have a variable which we just discussed now and now of course a fixed resistor Fixed resistor basically is a device designed to resist the flow of electricity Okay, now the more resistance an electronic device or an electronic current Encounters, okay, the more slowly the current will flow. Okay, these resistors they are or they will be manufactured according to the control that's needed in the current supply an everyday example of a fixed resistor okay would be a old very old type of in i can i can never say this word properly i know how it looks incandescent light bulb now we don't really use much of these bulbs today we use rather uh, energy saving light bulbs or energy saving globes that are supplied of course by our dear trusted uh, electricity provider s and com okay um so um we don't really use these types of incandescent light bulbs anymore but that is an everyday example okay um, but basically these old types of light bulbs okay where light is obviously given off uh, it's given off at a constant brightness okay so it's the same brightness all the time okay different from fluorescent light bulbs fluorescent light bulbs are obviously longer all right and um which reminds me i need to change the ones in my backyard four factors that do affect the resistance uh in a circuit okay the one that we're going to go through first is the material okay but the material of the wire specifically remember because all wires all wiring and wires in a circuit do have the same amount of resistance okay um reason why i say this is that because some uh, materials are better um, conductors than others and because of this this causes less resistance okay if the material is better conductor then then obviously there's less resistance because a conductor means that if it's a good conductor then obviously that means that the electricity is going to flow through it quite smooth just like tropica down anybody's throat all right i love tropica by the way okay uh number two the thickness okay now the thickness is specifically pertaining to the conductor let's add that word in here so that we know the thickness of the conductor specifically okay now obviously the larger the wire okay there will be less resistance The opposite is just true thinner the wire these quotation marks meaning this whole phrase same thing here 
obviously means um, more resistance. Why might this be the case intuitively when we think about this, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if there is a thicker or larger wire, it's probably a better conductor of electricity because there's more surface area for the electrons or current to flow on or to flow through. A thinner wire means the same as a narrow gate. Okay, you have a huge gate, more people can fit through at one time. You have a very small gate, Possibly only one at a time can fit through there. Same thing here. Thin on the wire, more resistance because less current can flow through it at a time, per given time. Okay. That's the thinking behind it. Use my gate and people example. It's the best in the world. Okay. Then, of course, the third one is the length. But the length now is not of the conductor, but the length of the wire now. Okay. If the current only has a short way to travel along the conductor or the wire, it will be quicker. So the longer wire, more resistance. Okay? Longer wire, more or better resistance. The shorter the wire, of course, less resistance because the current has a shorter way to travel or shorter path to travel. Now then, instead of going from, it's like going from here to Clermont instead of from here to Paul. or Wooster, whichever one you want to call it. And then of course, temperature. Okay, the final factor. Okay, temperature. If there is, I'm gonna use another color. I'm gonna use an up arrow for increase, okay? If there is an increase in temperature of the wire, that will also mean that there is a increase in resistance okay if there's an increase okay those conductors that heat up will increase the resistance so my lamp heats up around the bulb right the outer skirts of the lamp uh, of the lamp heat up so there's some good resistance obviously in my lamp the light bulb doesn't when I don't anything else doesn't in my room of course and those are the four factors that do affect the resistance in a circuit material of the wire thickness of the conductor length of the wire and of course the temperature and the temperature can really only increase due to the electrical energy that is lost and when electrical energy or voltage that is lost it usually means it's converted into heat energy and that's it for the lesson this day grade nine thank you so much for joining me on our lessons on resistance